Pats and Turner's Cross. Here's Stephen Alkin. Cork City registered their fifth win in a row against Cove. It was all too easy. Pat Morley's flick on to John Caulfield wrapped up a comfortable 3-0 win. That ensures they're top of the table tonight. Also on Thursday, the definitive entry into the What Happened Next slot. 91st minute in Oriel Park, St. Pat's pressing for the equaliser with goalkeeper Tony O'Dowd in the Dundalk penalty area. And away goes Brian Byrne, pursued by that aforementioned keeper. The race was on, and the Dundalk player won the day for the craziest goal of the season so far. 2-0 to Dundalk on the night. More woe for Shelburne on Friday, as Sligo Rovers inflicted home defeat number four at Talca Park. John Kenny provided the cross for Mike Small to score his fifth goal in four games. Now there's an import who's pulling his weight. 3-1 to Sligo. And so to this afternoon's League Cup semi-final, switched from Bishopstown to Turner's Cross, and it's that man Tony O'Dowd again, I'm afraid. Route one ball from Harrington, straight through that keeper, and John Caulfield doesn't miss those. He's notched another to give Cork the lead early in the second half. Then Stephen Napier's long ball set Pat Morley away. He easily beat Peter Carpenter, and the perfect cross found the head of Caulfield again. That's eight goals in seven matches. Can anyone stop him now? Indeed, can anybody stop Cork City? Yes, and there's confirmation of those wins for Cork City, Dundalk and Sligo Rovers. Galway United and Bohemians... Beaten 1-0 by Shelburne in their last outing. He's in for the injured Joe Hanrahan. The other change sees Tony Loughlin replacing Kendermange in the midfield. Tom McNulty plays his last match before a five-game suspension, which means he'll miss the two legs of the League Cup final. Three changes in the Cork City lineup for the side beaten last week by Shamrock Rovers. This is one of them, their goalkeeper, John Donegan. He's from Middleton, but he's been playing with St Johnston in Scotland. He replaces Phil Harrington, who has an abscess in his mouth. Two other changes mean that the outfield ten who finished against Shamrock Rovers take their places. Billy Woods for Fergus Giltonen and Gareth Cronin for Declan Hyde. Johnny Caulfield, very much the man to watch. 15 goals for Cork this season. Today's referee, Tommy Trainer, sets the game in motion. One of the FIFA list. And the dog play from left to right in a game that will see the winners, should there be winners, go top of the National League. Tommy Gaynor. McNulty goes in. Tries to thread it through. Offside drag been raised on this near side. Gaynor, Murphy, and Caulfield took up a good position. Gaynor's in the middle for him. Across Van Boxel, bows and up, tucked behind by Richard Purdy. Doing on the back post. And Billy Woods to take the corner. It's come to Murphy. Oh, and deflecting off the head of Johnny Caulfield. And that's a goal kick. Here's Barry, the linchpin of Cork City. And goes Liam Murphy, but now it's Cody McBurn. Under pressure from Napier. Here comes Caulfield. And the pitch, more than anything else, made life awkward for him there. Here's the corner, Woods once more, and under the crossbar this time, it was Morley's head, Caulfield's in there! Oh, and hoofed away by John Cody. Stephen Kelly, dispossessed by Napier. Napier once again. Gaynor trying the overhead. Oh, and in went Caulfield. And all oh, right across the face of that goal by Billy Woods. And it, still not out. Headed away by Wheeler. Finally cleared by Mick Byrne of all people. McNulty and McNulty's round his man. Here's Byrne. Good stop, Donegan. Cleared away to Billy Woods. Real end to end stop.
Nice play here by Brian Byrd. Mick Byrd is in there. That's danger for Cork. Off the line again by Gareth Cronin, in the left back. Back in once more by Purdy. Donegan takes it. Doing well in difficult circumstances, the new goalkeeper. But it was Gareth Cronin to the rescue on the line. Brian Byrne causing the problem up the left flank. The cross came in, lovely little header by Mick Byrne, and Cronin had to knock it off the line. And Brian Byrne crosses, Doohan goes in. It's come out to Cody. And now Gaynor for Morley. A little go at McNulty. Uh, illegal use of the posterior in the view of referee Tommy Trainer. There. <laughs> I think that's fair enough on the referee's part. Meanwhile, Lockham, but Byrne couldn't get on the end of the return pass for Tony Lockham. Wheeling away. And a throw to Cork. Just past the half hour. Still awaiting the first goal at Oriel. <laughs> Daly. Caulfield. Trying to find Woods. Dennis McNulty. McBurn. Spread wide for Purdy. A forward here for Tony Lachlan. Saw the goalkeeper off his line. Lachlan, oh, off the post, Tony Lachlan. Great play by him. Donegan scrambling. Daly to clear it. He's found Tommy Gaynor. And that was superb play by Tony Lachlan. Game continues. Ball hasn't gone dead yet. Lachlan going in once more. Now Cody. Looking for Stephen Kelly, who's dispossessed by Dave Barry. But now it's Purdy. And Richie Purdy drives the shot straight off the face of Gareth Cronin. And then Dave Barry. And Barry for Woods. And Woods is running out of play. Well, this was the best moment of the match so far. Richie Purdy with a long, long ball. Lachlan saw goalkeeper Donegan off his line, tried to chip him just at the angle, slightly wrong. And the post saved Cork. Whelan's head, straight to Woods. Good forward for Caulfield. Two in the middle for him, Gaynor and Morley. Caulfield across, sits there! Lovely goal by Tommy Gaynor! Splendid goal. Tommy Gaynor puts Cork City in front for this eighth of the season. Billy Woods created it. Slid it wide for Caulfield with some nice footwork and Caulfield delicate little ball in and a glancing header from Tommy Gaynor beating Van Boxtel. 36 minutes gone and it's Dundalk nil, Cork City 1. And the ball had to play straight away after an impressive period of a couple of minutes when the ball simply didn't go dead. Now Dundalk try to get back into this. Only one win in their last five matches, Dundalk. Actually, that was a rather impressive victory over Shamrock Rovers. But uh, they need a better run than this uh, to challenge for the championship. It just shows how tight it is that teams with that kind of form, and indeed Cork City, with three defeats in the trot, can be in a position to go top should they win this match. Lachlan. Cody. Ryan Byrne, Lachlan, Cody. <laughs> Dig it out. That they did. But it's McNulty who has it, and McBurn. Now call. McBurn for Lachlan. 
Purdy with the shots, well wide. Success. This occasion, more to do with the fact that the keeper was well positioned. And that's the last action of the first half. First goal of the match coming nine minutes before the break. And it was Tommy. G Cork City have only won once at Oriole Park in their current state as Cork City FC. And that was back in the season 1989 to 90. So they're in a position to make themselves a little bit more history here if they can hold on to their interval lead. And as well as that, of course, it would put them back on top of the Premier Division of the National League. There's 45 minutes of football to be played to decide that. And the goal that I'm to say. Tony Loughlin, it looked sharpish during the first half. Still he goes on. John Donegan makes the save. First attack of the half in the first half minute of the half. Tony Lachlan holding off Cronin, but the defender did well enough to uh, force weakness in the shot. Brian Byrne up the line for Cody. Back inside for Doohan and then Byrne. Left for McNulty. Made back by Lachlan. Brian Byrne again. Now Whelan. Doohan. Lachlan against Napier. Still Lachlan. Oh! The dog's best of the second half. He worked hard to create that opportunity, Tony Lachlan. Really was determined. Doohan tried to set him up. Didn't quite succeed, but at the second attempt, Lachlan got it away from Napier and had much time to think about it. Did well. Ryan Byrne. Doohan charging up the touchline. Hoisted towards Lachlan, onto it comes Kelly. Stephen Kelly, what a goal! What a splendid equaliser and worthy of just that celebration. Brilliantly conceived by Dundalk. So important in it was their big central defender, Mick Doohan. Doohan made the ground up the left, measured this cross to perfection, Kelly stepped onto it sweetly, and with just one touch to steady himself, then gave Donegan no chance. And 58 minutes gone, Stephen Kelly's fifth goal of the season, and the Dundalk are level. Well, that was worth coming to see. An absolutely splendid goal by Stephen Kelly. Brian Burke. Looking for the inside track this time. Murphy losing his footing. McBurn. Purdy. Doohan. Brian Byrne. O'Donoghue missing his kick. A chance here. Byrne goes down. No penalty. No penalty. Play goes on. Cross from Brian Byrne. McNulty on it. Barry clears. And it's Morley for Cork with Caulfield up ahead. Caulfield against Dewan. Caulfield's cross, side net. But uh, the talking point remains what happened at the other end. Fergus and Donahue lost his footing as did Mick Doohan in playing the big ball forward there not a good header out by Daly Brian Byrne sweeping it across O'Donoghue missed it here's Mick Byrne coming onto it now was this a foul well it certainly looked like it it certainly looked like it but Tommy Trainer didn't see it that way no penalty to Dundalk well here it is again from another angle ball gone